This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. You played your first game the other day, uh, got in the starting lineup. How do you feel like you did, and what was kind of the feedback you got after watching film and stuff? Uh, I feel like my performance was pretty solid. Um, just, you know, focusing on defense mainly um, because coming in the game, I don't know, Ford Nelson was obviously the best player coming into the game. Um, and coach has, has been like kind of on my tail about like just, just being ready and staying disciplined when it comes to playing defense. And, um, and yeah, I just feel like all around defensive wise, I was pretty solid. Um, offense, I was pretty solid shooting. I think I missed one, like a uh, bunny that I, I, sh I was supposed to make coach got on, got on my tail about that. Um, I'm gonna make the next one, but, um, just overall, just excited. Um, first game was good. You know, I wasn't really nervous because, like, this is probably, like, my third year going into this. So, uh, I kind of know, like, the ins and outs and stuff like that. But overall, good. And what have you seen so far in, in preparation for Fordham on Friday? What, what do they do well? What are going to be the keys for y'all? Uh, we played them last year uh, at Rhode Island. Um, so, I kinda, I'm kind of familiar with the team. Um, they had a big that's not there um, now, um, but you know they like to play fast. Um, but the Quisenberg um, as a star player, um, he's he's really good. But our defensive schemes are still gonna be the same: high hands um, and all the techniques that coach told us during the summer. Um, so we we look into going with confidence uh, coming from the first game and uh, just getting better and growing as a team because we we all haven't played together. Um, obviously, we got, got freshmen and stuff like that. So just getting that jail and stuff like that, and stuff like that. Yeah. Bob. Uh, yeah, Kyle. I looked up that game. I think uh, Fordham beat you guys sixty-one fifty-five. Uh, I, was uh, <laughs> I didn't want to say. I, I didn't want to say, it, but yeah, they got us. Um, it was kind of weird, like the scheme they they had going into that game. Was, yeah, they was kind of into like a tandem, like just kind of trying to um, prevent me and my brother from scoring. Um, and because I don't, I think last year none none of, none of our guards uh, averaged over like nine points or something like that. So the focus was was on us. Um, <laughs> kind of mad about it. Um, I, I, so that's why I'm really excited for this game tomorrow. Um, so we can show like um, what we can do as a team. Um, and like just to get a get a uh, win because of last year. Yeah, I was gonna say, does it, do you have a little revenge factor for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely that. Yeah, and then you didn't. I don't think you played a whole lot in in the European tour, but I know you you got you had a pretty good red white game, as I recall. You played pretty well in the exhibitions. Obviously, that got you a start the other night. Um, yeah. What do you remember about the European tour? Maybe what did that teach you, or what did you take away from that? And then how? how your games uh, evolved here since then? Uh, what I learned from the European tour was um, just all about productive, being productive um, at what you do um, and the role that you get and um, and just value on every minute um, when you get out there. Um, it was one game I played uh, maybe like six minutes and then another game I didn't play. Um, it just comes with the, with the, with, with being here. Um, Another thing I learned was how the style of basketball that coach wants to play um, just by sitting and watching and like knowing my areas where I can improve in uh, coming, leaving from uh, the tour. And uh, I just got, we just got in the gym um, and just worked really honestly. Do you feel like, I don't know if sorry, my screen is going dirty. Do you feel like you, you learned from that experience and applied it in, in a good way to get more playing time since you've been back? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, just buying into what coach wants um, from me, like from me specifically and um, and like individually, just knowing what, uh, what coaches want and just buying into it. Um, it took some time. Uh, we It was a few errors, um, but, you know, I stuck with it. We, we stuck with it. Coach trusted me. Um, and, you know, I'm just looking forward to continuing to grow and get better. Okay, I might have a couple more. I'll, I'll turn it back to Mike. Thank, thank you. Courtney. 
Yeah. Hey, Mikai, I just kind of wanted to know with the starting lineup with Nick Smith Jr. not being in the in the game the other night, um, that starting lineup, Coach Musk kind of said, you know, I had to change around. We had to add some guys. How do you think that group of guys was the other night? What was it like playing with those guys and, and kind of how did you guys gel? How did you feel the chemistry was between the starting lineup? Uh, it was good. Um, you know, we came out pretty solid. Um, you know, as I said before, coach came in before the game, coach uh, was on us about being disciplined, staying down on sh uh, shot fakes um, and just trusting one another. I think that was the biggest key, um, knowing that uh, your teammate is behind you, you know, like on a, if somebody get beat or we had a disadvantage, just trusting our, just trusting our teammates and, and stuff like that. Um, I think all that played a part, a big, huge part. Um, and yeah, I just, we just jailed. I don't know. We, we've been playing so much in the summer. Um, I don't know. It just all came together. Yeah, you mentioned gelling a little bit in one of your previous answers. How much more gelling do you think needs to occur between, between you guys so far? Do you think a couple of games will help? You know, how, how well do you think this team is with chemistry right now? Um, you know, uh, like I said before, we all just came together. Um, I think what, like four transfers, six freshmen. So we all just learning each other. Um, it's going to take some time. Um, we can always improve. Um, coach is never satisfied. Um, and I think it might take a few more games. Um, maybe Maui. Um, once that, I think once that happens, we, we should be good. Perfect. That's all for me. Thank you so much. Scotty. Hey, Makai, it's finally good to, to finally talk to you, man. Um, I'm curious how you viewed your growth over time as a screener and role man and some ball screen actions. And then, you know, you're back to the basket game. I think that's kind of becoming less and less commonplace in, in, in modern basketball now. Uh, is that, is that a, oh, oh, um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'll, Oh, can you rephrase the question? How just how do you think you've grown as a as a role man in ball screen work or ball screen actions that that you're in? And then just I mean, I guess just kind of detailed, you know, the the growth in your uh, back to the basket game too. Um, yeah, just it just came from like maybe after the tour. Um, I just had to get in the gym, and um, I think once we like when we first got back, uh, I think my me and my brother was like. Everybody else went home and me and my brother was the only one in the gym. Um, just just, just uh, trying to work on our, on our game, uh, you know, uh, just playing the role that coach wants us to play, you know, and being a star at it. Um, I think that's what he drilled in our head every day to uh, each and every one of us. Um, as far as my growth to was back to the basket, yeah, like it's just been, I mean, I always had that, um, you know, coming from Rhode Island and stuff, um, but, I wasn't as good as I am now because maybe I got stronger. Um, my balance is better. Um, and I was on, I was coming off of injuries last year um, at Rhode Island. So I think the weight, the weight room definitely helped. You know, I'm curious, um, what were your thoughts on you guys' interior defense in the opener? And what did y'all do to protect the the lane and the rim as well as you did? Um, we, the, our initial, um, Coverage was to front the post. Um, if if an emergency was three quarter, um, and help was on the backside, um, we can get a lot better interior defense, including myself. Um, I felt I felt like I got a few fouls that um, that I shouldn't have got, and you know it, it'll we'll, we'll grow, we'll get better. Yeah, lastly, for me, just what were your impressions of Trevin and just what he brings to the table and to the team on both ends? Uh, Trevor is a freak athlete. <laughs> I like him a lot. He can shoot the three ball. Um, he loves transition. He loves getting out in the run. Um, we're going to need him this season for sure. Um, he's young, so he's he kind of still uh, learning the system and like the ins and outs of the game and stuff like that. Once he get that, he's he's going to be one 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 tough one tough player. Curtis. 
Hey, Makai, you seem like a, a pretty max effort guy when you're on the floor. And I, I see you in the little dance huddles before the game too. Where, where does that stuff come from, man? And, and do you feel like kind of being an energy guy could be part of your role with this team? Uh, for sure. Um, a lot of that comes from like when coach ha um, brings us back and he just um, pumps us up. Uh, a lot of that comes from that. And, you know, just preparation all week. Like, and our first been been as us our first game. I every I know everybody was was excited. So, and as far as me being an energy guy, yeah, I'm I I feel like I'm one of the guys that like talk the most besides maybe Devo, um, in in practice. So yeah, I can be the energy guy. And then one thing Mus has talked about with you is your your versatility. I know you've played some four and and five since you've been here. Uh, but with that and, and with you settling in kind of to your role, do you feel like there's a, a part of your game or, or things about the way you play that haven't been unlocked yet that we might see moving forward? Uh, definitely. Um, I feel like um, I can put the ball on the ground uh, more. Um, like Coach said pre early, early in the season, um, I can put the ball on the ground or I can guard like one through five. Um, and I think that's kind of like my specialty just defense, being able to defend on the perimeter. Uh, I don't think no other big can do that as well as I, I can. Um, and yeah, just being an all around player, um, a slash, a cutter. I mean, just uh, just playing basketball. Bob, you got a follow up? Uh, yeah, McKay, I guess you and your brother, I think this is the third school you guys have been at together. Was that just always kind of the understanding that, hey, wherever we go, we're, we're doing it, you know, we're gonna stay together? Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. And then you mentioned you guys stayed up here when you got back from Europe. I know Eric gave you guys some time off before school started. I know you guys are from DC and that's a long trip home. Yeah. Did you guys plan to go home or you just thought, uh, yeah, it's a trip home, let's stay here and work or kind of, well, well, why were you guys the only ones up here working? Uh, you know, I just, just wanted to get better. I mean, I didn't, obviously nobody would like, like not playing. So, you know, that was just my way of like, maybe like coping, like, yeah, you can say coping, like, and just wanting to get better and just, just be a part of the team. And then I, I know you, your brother, I can't remember. I don't, I don't think he played in the game the other day, or if he did, he didn't play as much as you did. How do you handle that? Cause I'm sure you guys root for each other and want each other to do well, but also, you know, you got your own self to worry about kind of how, how do you handle that? If you're maybe doing more, better than he is, you know, right now anyway. Um. Just, just trusting the coaching staff and um, and letting them handle uh, handle all that and um, try putting out trust in them and like they got our best interests and stuff like that. So he gonna be good um, and he'll get his opportunity and once he do, once he does he'll he'll make the best of it. Does that help that that you know you guys are obviously you're older so it's not your first rodeo but but still you you guys are new here and it's a different part of the country you guys are have been on the east coast. Does yeah. it help have your brother here? Or are you, I assume you guys are roommates, or how does that work? Um, yeah, he, he is my roommate, actually. Um, yeah, but it definitely does help him being here um, and just us being for, here for each other. Um, you know, we've been at this for a while. Um, you know, we know how to talk to each other. Um, we know, like, when one of us is down and stuff like that. And just try to give words of encouragement. Um, this is, you know... I'm sorry, you said you guys are roommates? Yes. I, I figured you would be, but maybe you got sick of each other. I don't know. Okay, okay. Yeah. That, that, thanks a lot. Football is back, and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your football betting needs this season. You'll find the latest odds, matchup info, player news, and game trends. And as your continued source for all sports wagering info, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, live scores, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports and events like MLB, MLB, MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive your 100% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.